In this lecture, I will discuss about the virtual screening of compounds to identify lead compounds from a pool of uh, different uh, ligands. So, in the earlier lecture, we discussed about protein ligand interactions. What is a ligand? Small, small, small molecule which can trigger the activity of the proteins that they when they interact with the active site or the binding site. So, this could be an activator or the inhibitors or neurotransmitters, etcetera, right. So, when they interact right with the protein, right, so you can uh, identify different types of inhibitors for any drug targets. So, what are the different types of uh, docking did we discuss? Rigid and flexible. Rigid and flexible docking. What is rigid docking? So, you can see the binding set of the protein as rigid. Ligand also you have one conformation you can dock, but you can make different conformation for ligand, you can interact with the protein right to get the score. What is flexible docking? So, here the protein, protein is also flexible, so you can allow different, different degrees of freedom right. In this case you will get the different uh, sampling. So, for this sampling you can uh, get this function scoring function. So, you will find the best score to identify the target for any uh, particular uh, active site. So, to do the docking we need proteins mainly the active sites and different process right as well as the ligands right. So, then you can uh, do the types of docking. So, then we do the docking what are two different aspects we need to consider. One is a conformation sampling and the second one is scoring function right. What are different ways to sample the conformation of protein the active sites? Systematic or stochastic right. Systematic we need to systematically carry out all the possible conformations it is time consuming right, but you can uh, get the data it is good for the small uh, compounds. So, if you have the stochastic one so in this case randomly it can choose right the different types of uh, algorithms we discussed. Which type of which algorithms we discussed for the sampling? Simulated annealing anneal and the genetic algorithm, right? So, we use different algorithms to sample the uh, proteins uh, conformation. Then, regarding scoring function, so what is scoring function? Which can score this is a kind of energy function, so energy any function which can uh, provide the binding affinity in terms of uh, some values that are called scores. This will tell you. Uh, for a different pose of any protein in the active site, which ligand can fit right, the best with this particular pose. So, different types of scoring functions you can uh, decide which ligand is the best, right. For example, the shape or uh, chemical compl uh, complementarity, you can see empirical potentials, energy, uh, then uh, force field, then we discussed about the propensity values, right. We calculate the propensity, then converted to the potentials, right, knowledge based method. And the consensus, right? You can see the use of various combination of different potentials. Fine. So there are several software available in the literature. Right? Some of them are publicly available. For example, Doc and the Glide, right? This is available as a part of Scrodinger, right? You can use for the docking. So now the question is: Docking is the only way to identify okay which which ligand can fit with this uh, particular post. So we have a pool of compounds. For example, five million compounds, right? How to identify the potential lead compounds? Right. Uh, this is the technique called virtual screening. So, this is the computational or in silico uh, algorithm for screening these compounds. So, what is the aim of the virtual screening? Okay, we have the proteins and the ligand, this will, this will give a score and this can rank these uh, ligands and also filter a set of structures whether uh, this can fit or uh, th this is not fitting with any particular uh, conformation in the protein side. So, you can use docking to do this, right. So, in this case you can filter the compounds and you can uh, and get some libraries to synthesize and you can also suggest to purchase some compounds for the experiments. In any case final experimental validation is required right even if you identify any lead compounds using uh, virtual screening the computational techniques. Right. So, now if you give the protein here, so where is active site probably you can see this fitting is fitting here. So, you can see some cavities. And here there are many ligands, you can see database of ligands. So, what the virtual screen does? So, given a protein and database of ligands, right, we can use several software, right. So, see 
from among all these ligands which ligand will fit with this particular protein. In this case which one is the best fit? NAD right you can see the NAD is found to be best match early for uh, this combination right for this protein from this list of uh, ligands. I show some more examples. This is the data of the oxygen transport molecule right uh, the surface in the myoglobin ligand and here you can see influenza virus B right the neuraminidase is complex with the xenomere. This is xenomere here this is the protein side the how they fit right in the core. This is another one HIV protease here also you can see hospital group this can be acting as these active sites so that the ligands can go and interact right at these sites. You know, so, the several examples available in the literature right for the protein ligand complexes. So, then if you look into these available ligands many structures you can directly reject based on uh, some of these uh, 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 chemical structures as well as the availability of the rings or the Lipinski's rule of 5. For example, if I showed several uh, rejected compounds based on various aspects for example, take this one. So, here is a molecule which is 837 right hydrogen but except as 15. So, these two uh, violated the Lipinski's rule of 5. Right. What is the Lipinski's rule of 5? Molecular weight should be less than 5. Less than 500? Hydrogen bond acceptor should be less than 10. Less than 10? And donor should be less than 5. Less than 5? And, and the partition coefficient this less than 5 right. So, here if you uh, see a uh, compound number 1 this compound molecular weight is 837 and hydrogen bond acceptor is 15. So, in this case it violated the two aspects. So, uh, this uh, may not be a drug like molecule. Then the here one is rejected mainly because it is insoluble in water because solubility is important because if you are it is not soluble right in this case if you even you, you, you cannot drink it is not soluble right in this case uh, it is rejected. So, here this one is having many rings. So, because of that they rejected this compound. Here you can see sir the depending upon the inorganic and the heteroatoms. So, in this uh, because of the reason okay, they rejected this compound. So, here there are several toxic groups and here you can see several uh, reactive groups right some cases multiple chiral centers. So, these are the various aspects how we uh, rejected some molecules which may not be a like molecule. So, then what do we need what do we need in the virtual screening. So, there are set of compounds. So, sir, there are several actives some of them are inactives. So, we need to identify the actives and inactives and reject the inactives and get the positives. Then we have to get the quality in our lead because it should be quality then this can be potentially it could be a drug. So, you got to reproduce the binding mode and predict the binding affinity and rank the diverse compounds right. Then we get the heat rate by database mining right. Then you have to reduce false positives and false negatives right and then it should be fast to get this uh, structure based drug design. So, there is various steps you need to do for screening the compounds right from the pool of compounds to identify a lead like molecule. Okay, I show one example okay, for here you can see the CS kinase protein right this is uh, involved in this uh, colorectal cancer. So, the target is the CS kinase right how to identify the inhibitors for uh, this particular uh, protein. So, drug institute of technology right in 2014 so they organized a competition right because there are several methods available for docking right. For example, I we discussed about various software for uh, auto dock and glide and many software likewise there are hundreds of software available then different ways to get the probable compounds. So, it is very important to identify whether this any method can potentially identify the probable compounds. Second question is are there any mismatches or matches or overlapping of the different techniques which can potentially identify same compounds and whether they can get the diverse variety of compounds. If you have different methods and you get the diverse compounds then you can have reduce you can reduce the pool of compounds to a limited set and that you can go for the experiment valid, uh, validation. So, there is a based on that background they organize a competition like the CASP what is CASP? critical assessment of protein production of protein protein structures protein structures right. So, likewise here they listed up given up 22.2 million compounds from NMN why they used NMN compounds because they all the compounds are readily available. So, do not have to synthesize and uh, take time right. So, then we can uh, identify the inhibitors with known structures 
and once we submitted the compound then they will do experiments and then compare whether any of these compounds are potentially inhibiting the activity right this is the major uh, role for this initiative of the parallel bioinformatics. So, let will explain so what is CS kinase okay you can see the CS kinase okay this is the from the kinase family right. So, here this also in, involved in the colorectal cancer so it is one of the major target it has several domains for example, SH 3 domain it is 2 domains these domains are similar to the other family members like SRC, S, fin, line and so on. So, it is a catalytic site right here you have the 2 phosphorylated phosphorylated sites one is uh, Y416 right and one is Y527. Okay, here you can see this is SH3 domain this is SH2 domain and here this is the linkage and here is activation loop this loop is all this loop this this, this part is very important for this inhibitor. So, if you look into the literature so crystal structure of CSRC kinase is known, but CS kinase is not known, but the homology is very high with the other, other members. So, thyrosine 416, so it is in the activation loop, this is the activation uh, loop here, right. So, here is the thyrosine uh, 416, right. This is this undergo phosphorylation during the activation of kinase, right. Then, how to identify the inhib prob uh, probable inhibitors? So, to have docking, right, we need the protein as well as ligand. Here the protein, what is the protein here? CS kinase. CS kinase. CS kinase is a protein. So, protein protein we know, but the protein structure we do not know. Then the ligand, what is the library of ligands? Mm -hmm. Unamine library. So, the, the last class when we discussed about the docking, before docking first we need to prepare the protein as well as prepare the ligand, right. So, now we have the enamel library, we need to prepare the, li the ligands and we have the protein. So, protein also we have to prepare, right. I will explain what we do. So, first we get the enamel library 2.2 million compounds we need to optimize and do or check the all the parameters whether it is uh, stable and the frequency this fine or not. Once you optimize then we can calculate the physical chemical properties the various physical chemical properties for example, molecular weight, hydrogen donors, acceptors and the, and the molar refractivity right. So, very various physical chemical properties you can calculate these properties. So, this is with the ligand. Then among these 2.2 million ligands, we get several ligands we can reject because I discussed about the compounds which you can reject at the beginning. So, we do not go for the screening and the final checking. So, we can reject based on the some of these uh, characteristic features. So, for that purpose what we did? So, we get the CS kinase inhibitors from this experimental data called the binding DB. This has some data for the CS kinase inhibitors, known inhibitors. Right, but there is not available in this uh, enamel library. If it is available in enamel library, they remove that one, right. So, now all the 460, then some of them are similar, some of them are diverse. So, we need to have the diverse compounds. So, get the diverse compounds using Tanimoto coefficient, I will explain uh, soon. Now in this case, you can reduce this 460 into 159 ligands. Then, among the 153, we calculate some of the physical chemical properties these are called actives right, because already known uh, the uh, non binding affinity. So, they are known as inhibitors right. So, now we compare these physical chemical properties right and the physical chemical properties of this uh, 2 million uh, 2 point 2 million ligands we compare with the deviation then you can remove several compounds finally, we ended up with only 5200 compounds. So, you can drastically be reduced from 2.2 million to 5000 uh, compounds. Then we added some decays because to see whether the decays are uh, uh, correctly eliminated and the actives are uh, correctly identified. So, with this uh, 5000 compounds we added 159 actives and the 6000 decays so that this will be 1170 so, uh, 11761 compounds fine this is the now the ligand side we fixed this type of compounds. The protein side so we know the target is CS kinase structure is not known. So, we can have the template they called the SRC kinase which you can set in the more than 90 percent. So, we can if it is more than 90 percent what can we do? We can do homology modeling right. So, we can homology modeling we can do homology model. So, we can do homology modeling of this CS kinase, but this will have only one static structure right. In this case we will get only one confirmation right. 
So, the protein also have different type different conformation not only active sites but other places also they have different conformations accordingly the conformation actress it also change. So, in this case we can do MD simulations that is simulation mainly this kinase domain right and take the different conformations and cluster the conformations and finally, we get some 7 structures this 7 one is homology model and one is the, the SRC kinase take this as proteins. Then with these ligands and these proteins we can do docking because now we significantly reduced the ligands. We can use the high throughput virtual screening or uh, simple precision or the extra precision we will do all these screening uh, methods to get the final compounds right say 120 compounds right. Okay. So, first we prepare the ligand and compare the ligand with the known actives and finally, we reduce the total number of ligands based on the physical properties. Then included the actives and decays for the uh, testing uh, test purpose. Then we prepare the protein side using the homology modeling and the MD simulations and we make the docking and finally, we get the compounds and we, we can screen it right fine. So, how to do this first we get the ligands. So, in ML we get 2.2 million compounds right. Then to see whether these compounds have any similarity or how we can identify the inhibitors for uh, the CS kinase. We check the binding DB. So, in this case we have the actives already reported like the 1 to 1000 nanomolar range. So, in the here you can see 460 compounds. Then due 6 this will give you the number of decays these are these are known non binders for the SR, SRC family this is a negative delta right. So, we got the negative we got the positive we can use this as a control and based on that you can identify the new inhibitors and you can that is validate using experiments right. Now, first we get the ligands first we do the optimization right we discussed earlier like we need the stereoisomers and the different automers and we can do the ionization and so on right make all these things perfect and we generate the coordinates using all these uh, various possible states we generate different coordinates. Then you minimize the structure using the OPLS force field that is a kind of uh, force field you can uh, calculate the energy right and finally, rate in the lowest minimum structure. For each ligand we try to get different conformations based on the possible states and we generate the coordinates and minimize the structure we rate in the minimized structure right. Likewise, we can generate right prepare the ligands. Once the ligands we prepared then we can use the ligand for calculating the physical chemical properties. For example, uh, in this program quick probe they calculate more than 80 physical chemical properties. For example, molecular weight, dipole moment of the molecule and acceptable surface area and the hydrophobic component of this area, hydrophilic component and pi component and so on. So, they can calculate various properties more than 80 properties and among the different properties we can select the best properties which can fit or which are important for binding right. So, what are the various properties which are mainly important for binding? Right, you can see the hydrogen bonds, right, then you can see the log p, you can see molecular weight, some properties are very important, right, along with some other, other properties. You can take 5 or more, right, depending upon the, the properties which are important for the binding with the, with the target, right. So, now the filter the uh, ligands, for example, if you have the ligands 1 and 2, right, either you take both or you take, the, take only 1. If you, if you have the sequence non redundant sequence structures, uh, sequence identity, how to get the non redundant sequences? Cluster. A cluster, you can get the cluster and you can see similarity. We take the similarity of 40 percent or 30 percent, right. Even they are similar, then maybe you can uh, take one, right. If they are not similar, take both. So, you get non redundant sequences, right, you can make. Like with the ligands, if you see, there are different types of uh, elements, say a ring. Ring is present in uh, uh, first compound. Yes, right. Link is present second compound. Yes. yes. Then the second one is this OHO. Is present here? No. It is here, right? OHO. The same. Yeah. Right. This yes. Is here? Is here. Right. This yes. Then this one it is not only both. Then take this type of uh, group. This O. Is here. Right. Here is here yes, but here no. So, put 0 right. So, you put 1 
uh, for any uh, group so you put the 1 if it is present and if it is 0 if it is not present right 1 and 2. Now, you can see comparing this 1 and 2 number of bits set in both how many cases you can see is available in both 1 2 3, two, three. three. right 3. So, B is the number of bits set in 1 but not in 2 how many cases present only in 1 and not in 2 2 how many bits set only in 2 but not in 1 0 right. So, this is the case you can calculate the number of the coefficient using the equation a by a plus b plus c right. So, a equal to 3 b equal to 2 c equal to 0. So, in this case this equal to 3 by 5 3 plus 2 right this 3 3 plus this equal to 60 percent or 0 0.6 right. So, they take the 460 compounds and compare the structures of all the active compounds right using the Tanimoto coefficient and set the cutoff of 0 0.5. If you do this the we ended up with the 159 uh, compounds from this 460 right like the sequence analysis structure analysis we use RMSD sequence analysis we like the similarity of the similarity matrix and here also we use the Tanimoto coefficient to get the non redundant uh, structures. So, from this 159 you can calculate the physical chemical properties right different properties you can calculate. For example, take the 5 important ones molecular weight this is 450 plus or minus 75 right in this case uh, 520, uh, 375 to 525 log p is 3 plus or minus 2 hydrogen mode 1 or 2 plus or minus 1 accept as 5 plus or minus 1 and the molar refractivity 120 plus or minus 10. So, we use both these ranges right minus and plus and the screen the initial 2.2 million compounds. Finally, we ended up with this 5000 plus compounds right. Then we have the active 159, 6000 decays finally, we get 11000 compounds right that is fine. So, then we need this is the ligand side that is fine we like set with the ligands. 